Hello and welcome to another episode of Ken Training. Today, what I want to go over is just purchasing a pair of headphones that I wanted to purchase for my personal life. So I am not a professional uh, headphone reviewer, but uh, as you can see here, I've got uh, a lot of headphones that I have purchased that I can review uh, each one of them. So uh, let me go. First of all, let me state it. that basically you get what you pay for um, when it comes to these products, and I guess that's you know general rule of thumb, anyways. Uh, okay, first of all, when purchasing a pair of headphones, first thing you need to do is you need to determine what exactly do you want to do with the pair of headphones. Why are you purchasing them? Uh, in my particular case, I wanted to use them on several fronts. I wanted to be able to use them with my laptop computer, so if I just wanted to listen to something without, every, without um, a lot of background noise of people, whatever, I could just throw on a pair of headphones. Same thing, watching TV. Also, I travel with, uh, on an airplane about six times a year, and um, because of the cabin noise, I wanted to be able to uh, wear a pair of headphones to be able to listen uh, to watch the um, in-flight entertainment uh, rather than reading a book, because it's just uh, better. Uh, or at least that's what I enjoy doing, I should say, while I'm traveling on an airplane. So things that were important to me was, uh, well, first of all, uh, at, when I was first per, uh, looking for a pair of headphones, I was thinking I would just get a wire and just, and just plug it in and not have to worry about um, connectivity. And then, I, and then uh, doing more research, I decided to go with a pair of Bluetooth headphones because when you go with a pair of Bluetooth and you go wireless, it just gives you more freedom. You're not tethered with a wire. You can walk around and stuff like that. But there's also a drawback. The drawback, uh, there's a couple of drawbacks. First of all, depending upon what pair of headphones you're talking about, you can potentially have what's called latency. Latency is a delay. So while I'm watching TV, if I'm using the Bluetooth, um, the, depending upon the headphones, you can have a delay from when the person is speaking and when their lips are moving. And for me, that just drives me crazy. I want, I want the audio and the video to be 100% in sync or as close to 100% or not noticeable from my perspective. Now, if you use a wire and there's no blue Bluetooth latency delay, then you don't have an issue. But then again, you're going over to a wired device. And also, you got to have comfort. Comfort is very important as well. Now, what's interesting about comfort is that when you're wearing a pair of headphones in general, I mean, you got something over your ears. For me personally, these ones here are the most comfortable, and I'll go through the whole thing. But basically, when you're when you're putting them on, the fit that you have it needs to be appropriate. On me personally, I, I like it to. So my head to be supporting the top of it. There's one pair over here that's a pretty good pair, but the headphones themselves, they don't have a lot of padding here, and the design of the headphone is such that when I put them on, there's a gap between this band and my head so that they're just being supported by here, and there's not a lot of pressure there, so it kind of uh, drops down and the, and the, the, so my ears, the top of my ears is literally supporting the headphones. Um, so there's a lot of fit issues and I don't feel like my head is anything special or abnormally different, but everyone manufactures their headphones slightly different to determine exactly how they're going to fit. So there's no way that you can just read the reviews and, uh, purchase a pair of headphones and the things are just going to work just perfectly. You actually, you have to, you have to get the headphones, you have to try them and you have to sit and watch a movie, have them on for a few hours in order to get a real good um, feeling for if they're going to fit comfortably for a long duration of time. And that's, uh, that's something you just can't do like in the store. You can't just simply try them on and say that they're, they're going to work perfectly. This pair right here, which is a pair of um, iTechnics, 
This, this pair here, um, when you first put them on, they are extremely comfortable. But there's a little there's a little bit of weight to these, and the weight kind of bothered me. So uh, over time, I was getting uh, a little bit of fatigue. So that uh, that made it uncomfortable over the long time. But uh, but when you first put them on, they're very comfortable. So uh, it takes time in order to really figure out exactly. Um, whether you're going to like them or not, but they're 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 it, these are still very comfortable uh, headphones. I don't want to knock these down at all. All right, so basically that is uh, when you're choosing your headphones, kind of like you want to make your decisions about what you want to do. Now, one of the things that I wanted to do was because I was uh, going to potentially bring them with me in an airplane. Uh, folding them up and putting them in some type of a case was very important and how much how big the case was was important and stuff like that so foldability was important to me and because of that also I wanted to determine exactly uh, how much noise cancellation I could get out of the headphones when it comes to noise cancellation there are two different types of noise cancellation there's passive noise cancellation and active noise cancellation. As an example, when you put on these Itonics, Itechnics um, headphones, the passive noise cancellation feature is fantastic. And when you put on the um, active noise cancellation, it doesn't really greatly increase the noise cancellation. As a matter of fact, I found that across the board. And also I found that generally speaking when you put on the active noise cancellation it takes your it takes the bass away from the sound that you're listening to. So if you're listening to some music and then you like the bass, it, generally speaking active noise cancellation takes away from that. But uh, passively these particular pair of headphones is uh, real good. So let me now go through uh, the headphones that I purchased, price points, stuff like that and tell you which one's the best, worst, and, and all of that, and we'll get right to it. Okay, when I first started my research, I started out with this pair here, which cost $12.97, and I got them at Walmart. I'll have links for all of these at, uh, in my uh, um, uh, description, so that way if you are interested in these. Now, these particular ones, they don't fit on my head uh, good at all. They do fold up, so they did have this, they, they, they don't come with a, with a case, so that was uh, not good because I wanted to have a case. They actually, these ones here, don't even have a uh, brand name. Now, when it comes to the, um, the ear muff, these don't even fit over the ear 100%. They're, 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 all the ones that I wanted to purchase were supposed to be over the ear. This one is really on ear. It's not really over the ear. This this is not uh, big enough. Um, let me see here. See, it doesn't even have a brand name. And they're just some like some Chinese uh, headphones, and they were only thirteen dollars. Again, you get what you pay for. Then the next pair that I purchased was this one here, which is called FM Loves. And these are wired, okay? So this, oh, by the way, this particular one over here is actually Bluetooth. Uh, for $13, if you could actually take the, um, take the size of them, they wouldn't be bad, but they're like for children, you know, whatever. But they are Bluetooth, which is interesting. These ones here uh, are $39.99, FM Loves W2, active noise cancellation, and uh, they do come with a case that you can see right there. And they do fold up here, like so. And um, let me see, that goes in like that. And you can fold these up tight like that. And as far as the uh, size of the, uh, the, uh, the hole for the ear, there it is right there. Try to give you a perspective there. You can put like three fingers in that way. It's still tight still small to my particular ear and it has a um, a button here so this way if you wanted to take a phone call you could do that and for the noise cancellation turn it on turn it off like that 
Um, and then I did ratings on all of these ones here as well. And uh, let me give you that. Okay, so for these ones, the FM Loves one on my particular rating that I did for these, uh, for comfort, I only gave them a five because they did not fit over my ears that well. Uh, and then as far as the sound goes, with no a a active noise cancellation, the sound was a very good, very high quality sound. With active noise cancellation, it drops it down. And, a lot, and that's across the board. When you do active noise cancellation, it seems you take out the bass. It makes everything more tinny, the, uh, generally speaking, across the board with all of them. Um, phone calls, uh, the quality for a phone call with this one was just medium. Like uh, I gave it a 5 out of 10. Um, and and bas so basically that's it for the FM loves. Um, now the next one is the uh, Itonic. Let me show you that. All right. So the next one here is Itonic, and uh, I'm not sure which model this one here is, but like I said, I'll have a link for it in the description. Forty-seven dollars ninety-nine cents comes with a uh, traveling case. Now if you look at the padding on this one, the uh, this one out of all of them has the most padding and it has a very big cup. Put three fingers in that way, two fingers comfortably in this way. Very very nice padding. These are these are very comfortable to put on your head. They are the biggest when it comes to like this distance here. If you, this is a one audio right here. If you compare these ones to this, notice the difference on how much extra space that you have here. That is, um, that's good and bad. It's good because for passive noise cancellation, it gives you more padding back there. It's bad because it has extra weight that it adds to the, um, to the to the headphones. Okay, now on the iTechnic uh, ones, they uh, for comfort I gave them a nine. This is all uh, uh, ratings from one to ten is what I did. Uh, for sound quality, with the uh, with the uh, with the wire with no ANC was uh, quality was ten. Sound quality is excellent. With ANC, it uh, dropped it down to like a nine or eight or nine. Uh, when you go wireless with uh, no ANC, sound quality is a 10, and then with the ANC, it drops it down to like a 7, going with the wireless. So it's worse with the wireless than with the wire. There's a slight difference there. Now, when uh, for phone calls, it was fantastic. Uh, now, when it comes to using the wireless Bluetooth when it, uh, for, for the TV. I purchased two different t uh, transmitters to, to transmit the signal. Let me show you those two. Okay, one of the ones that I purchased was this uh, Mitkus. It was $39 and there it is right there and it's called the RTX. Let's see if it says, yeah, RTX. You can see it right there. Mika swivel jack. It has kind of a neat design because this thing here isn't fixed. It kind of can swivel, which I kind of liked. And, and you can see how small it is. And I thought that for portability, it would be fantastic. Um, then the other one that I purchased, which was $29.99, is this one here. And it's uh, called a Trond, T-R-O-N-D. And there's the size of that one right there. And this comes out so that you can put a, put a wire cable in there or you can use this and just plug it in directly. Uh, with the, the, out of these two devices uh, for the uh, TV transmitter, uh, the, the Mitkus one or the Trond, <laughs> believe it or not, the lower price Trond one is a better transmitter in my opinion. For me, it worked better, a better signal. So when I used these, the uh, uh, iTechnic headphones uh, right here with the Trond unit, what happened was is you, you get a delay, okay? So there was a noticeable delay with this 
pair of headphones and using the wireless feature, I mean, yeah, the wireless uh, Tron Bluetooth transmitter. So that is n not good if you want to go wireless, and I would like to go wireless. I would like the ability to go wireless. Okay, the next one up for review is the One Audio A3 headphones. These ones here are $54.99. And what's these have a lot of good aspects to them. Number one, these ones are the lightest ones in the group. The, the cup is really big here for to go completely around your ear. The way that it folds up is like this. And it has the smallest case out of the group. So when you want to go and put these in, these fit inside of the case like that. So it is the smallest case for travel, which is a big, big plus. Um, the problem for me personally is, is that they don't fit my head right. And I'll explain what I mean by that. All right, so I've got the headphones here. Let me open them up and put them on. Now, when I go to put them on, there's a gap between the, the band and my head so that it's, so, so when it comes down like this, the, my, the top of my ear is hitting the top of that. I can't get the band to support it. Let's see. Even when I push it, I've already done this several times, even when these are pushed all the way tight and you go like this, it's, there's still a gap there. And so there's a, there's a comfort issue um, that makes it not good for me personally, so that, which is kind of a shame. I do wish My that it was. My husband is so crazy. He vacuums, but then he doesn't clean. He's using it as ambient noise for his headphone review. Please clean the house. <laughs> All right, I'll get right on that. All right. So when it comes to the to these ones here, for me, the, there's a fit problem. Uh, I, I wish that the manufacturer of One Audio would have made this a little bit smaller, so this way I could, if I needed to, extend it out. I mean, look at this. this I mean, I'm, you know, this, how much extension you get out of these ones here, but. Um, I got them all the way retracted and they're still too big for my particular head. Um, they're, but they pack up the smallest, they're the lightest weight, and they have other very good aspects to them. Um, so for comfort, for me, I have to put them low because they don't fit my head right, so I have to go uh, comfort of five. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the sound quality goes, the sound quality is excellent. The sound quality is a 10. When it comes to the um, uh, passive noise cancellation, the, the, you, you, I would rate these here as a 7 out of 10. Excellent passive noise cancellation. When you put the active noise cancellation on, um, the quality of the sound that you're listening to really drops off. You lose the bass and you get that tinniness uh, with, as with the other ones. But, it, but if you want active noise cancellation, if you, if you think in your environment it might work out okay, put it on. But, um, but you'll notice uh, that difference. Uh, but you don't even need it. Passive noise cancellation with those headphones was very good. Um, and I truly wish that they fit my head better. I wish that the comfort was there uh, because that's the pair that I really want to keep. But because of that issue, um, uh, so one other benefit of these One Audio A3s is the fact that it has a low latency, which is really good. Uh, there was absolutely no latency at all when I was watching TV. So I really wish that these ones here fit my head the best. They're the lightest weight, they pack up the smallest, they have all the features that you want, including active noise cancellation. Uh, the problem is, is they just don't fit me right they, they sit too low on my head so that they're hitting my top of my ears so uh, so that's a drawback okay here's the last pair on the list and these ones here are called Mitkis 
and and they're low latency headphones and let me see if I can get you the model these are the SR71s SR71s uh, they come with the case and there's the headphones right there and just to give you a comparison here's the SR71s here's the one audio you will see how much smaller the one audio case is compared to the SR71s they fit in the case differently by the way all of these headphones generally come they all come with the power cord which is the um, the uh, the uh, uh, I forget what you call that there, the, the mini jack uh, USB and they all come with the 3.1 uh, uh, cord so that you can do the direct plug-in. These ones here fit inside of here like that. So that's how those fit when you go to travel with those. So they fit completely different than the and this pair which folds up like this and like that. So that's how that's how that works. As far as comfort goes, the SR71s for me, they were the most comfortable fit pair. They fit really good just directly on the head. They fit just perfect. They have a lot of padding up here. So for comfort, um, these were like one of the most comfortable ones for me. Um, now, what else can I tell you about the SR71s? Um, as far as the sound quality goes, they're pretty much a 10. Sound fantastic. Um, they do, oh, one, one thing about the SR71s, they do not have active noise cancellation. They only have passive noise cancellation. And they don't even have that good of a passive noise cancellation. The iTechnics and the One Audio's passive noise cancellation was way better than the Midkiss um, passive noise cancellation, and they don't have active noise cancellation. Now, uh, when it comes to the watching TV, I uh, purchased the, uh, the Midkiss swivel jack, this one right here, because it's the same manufacturer, it's supposed to be a matching set. So my expectation was, is that with the Midkiss headphones and with the Midkiss uh, RTX swivel jack, uh, it would work out perfectly. Guess what? That is not the case. When I put this one on, you get like a, a whooshing, ghosting sound. I contacted uh, Midkiss's technical support, there, which I got to admit they were very prompt in their responses and we had a, a little dialogue going back and forth and they think that what's happening here is that um, that the device is getting a another Bluetooth signal and that uh, because of that a second signal is a reason why I'm getting that ghosting sound but when I use the uh, the Midkiss uh, headphones with the uh, Trond uh, transmitter everything worked out perfectly I did not have an issue so that is um, with this combination it worked out the best and there's absolutely no latency as well it worked out just perfectly uh. okay so after considerable time and review I determined that using headphones it just wasn't for me it just wasn't uh, as comfortable of an experience as I wanted to be. They always felt a little heavy. So I decided to uh, go with earbuds instead of headphones because um, for the overall function. So what, let me show you the products that I purchased. Okay, so basically I purchased these three products. And let me start off with the first one. So the first one that I purchased was these uh, pad ear mini x3 which are basically Chinese knockoffs of the airpods now these are the Apple airpods right here oops uh, these ones here are the real deal uh, let's see it's got the uh, brand name right there airpods and these ones here uh, 
were basically, I think I paid about $170 for these ones. These ones over here were somewhere in the neighborhood of $40. Um, but, so what happened was, is I started off with this pair and the quality is so poor that I just immediately went and purchased these here, which, I, which are just fabulous. I can't say enough good things about these. Yeah, you got to pay full retail, but um, these things are worth it. Uh, everything about them is absolutely worth it. The, the, the microphone in this is um, actually works. This microphone is so poor you cannot hold any phone calls with it. Another huge difference between this product and this product is that this has a pairing button in the case. This one does not. So you can pair this with other devices. I'll show you. Okay, see this device right here? This is a uh, Bluetooth transmitter. It's, a, uh, it's the Trond uh, BT Duo wireless transmitter and receiver. And there's a picture of it right there and there's the actual unit. When you have the, um, when you have the AirPod you can pair this device with this. With this one, the pad ear, you cannot do it because it doesn't have a pairing button on the back. You can only use that one with like your cell phone or something like that where you can pair to. Okay, so basically, uh, so I was just trying to, you know, go with as inexpensive a route as possible. So when I bought the pad ears and I was disappointed in the quality, I um, actually wanted to go through the return process and they said yes you go ahead and return it and they gave me a Chinese address to return it to and I had to have tracking is the way that it worked out with this transaction which was not through Amazon I did it through something called AliExpress so um, when I went to the post office to go ahead and return this product uh, with tracking it was going to cost me $33 well the whole thing was like uh, under forty dollars, I just said forget it. I didn't even. It's it's a, at that point in time, it's not cost effective. So I've got these, but they're basically just going to sit in my drawer because when it comes to this product, the Apple AirPods is the only way to fly. Well worth the one hundred and seventy dollars that I paid for it, which I I know I I probably even paid. Uh, more than what you keep you might be able to get them as low as $140 but I got mine engraved and stuff like that so I wanted uh, I wanted mine to be just a hundred percent so I actually got a little bit of engraving because my wife has a pair of these too and I didn't want them to get mixed up so I got them professionally engraved so I probably paid you know like I said hundred percent retail on that but when you talk about comfort and everything like that these Apple um, AirPods are just really really good they when they fit in your your ears you know like this they they're very lightweight very comfortable um, and you can use them the microphone for phone calls works excellent uh, this and the sound quality is excellent when you uh, just as as a comparison on the pad ear ones the the Chinese knockoffs the call that when you were listening to like Pandora, uh, the left ear kept cutting in and out, making your sound experience like let's just say not good. Phone calls basically non existent and no pairing button, so you can't use it with uh, a, a Bluetooth transmitter. So, um, I don't care if it's worth 40 bucks, it's not even worth the 40 bucks. I would have returned it if I could have, but it was going to cost me 33 dollars just to return it, so forget it. Okay, now. I still need a product to go on the airplanes and to use uh, the, the AirPods on the airplane is not good because when you put this, um, this in your ear right here, it is not like 100% a seal on your ear so there's a lot of uh, noises that, that get through. So for the airplane it's not exactly a good product. But for uh, the very small price of $12, I bought these uh, gummy uh, earbuds, okay? Okay, so I got the Gummy Plus, and it is the 
uh, the remote plus the microphone. So I paid the extra money and I got the ones with the microphone. Now they are uh, very comfortable. Here they are right here. And for travel purposes, these things are fantastic because they're just going to fold up real small. Now, one nice thing about these is that this cup right here that goes in your ear, when you buy the kit, when you buy this, this uh, box here, it has replacement sizes inside. So it's got, uh, it's a little hard to see here, hold on. But it's got all of that that comes with it. And I'll zoom in on that so you can see. So it's got, you know, multiple sizes. So the medium size for me, after doing some tests, was the absolute best size. Now, what's good about these is that when this thing goes in your ear, it actually makes a very tight seal. So, it's, it, so it cuts out a, a, a lot of background noise. Now what it does not do is it does not do as good of a job as headphones. You gotta give credit where credit is due. If you want the absolute best listening experience uh, on an airplane, headphones would probably be the best experience. But you are on an airplane and you're in, in that, that uh, very small restricted airplane seat and headphones are not exactly small. For travel and, and you know I'm only on in an airplane seat so often so what I did was is I bought these they're going in my travel backpack back backpack and these things can just fit in that little seat um, pocket in front of me while I'm traveling and these things work really good now I did try to use these for a phone call and here is the problem the, the the, the microphone on these gummies work really well. The problem is, is that the seal on this makes it very, a very tight seal on your ear. So when you're talking to your, and you can kind of, you can hear yourself, you, sit, you feel like you're talking underwater. In reality, you're not. Everything's good, but there, that's the sensation that you get. That's why when you want to use, if you don't have a lot of background noise, um, that's why the, uh, the Apple AirPods are the absolute way to go uh, for, for using it for phone calls because it's not a tight seal. You don't sound to yourself like you're talking underwater and the sound quality here is fantastic. So for the airplane, you're going to use these ones here for, I think I paid $12 on Amazon or something like that. I think it was actually $10.71 if memory serves me correctly. It was a very inexpensive price. So, uh, so the gummy earbuds for going on the airplane, basically the Apple AirPods for everything else. The whole thing, everything is way under two hundred dollars. As one for me, I think it was one seventy plus um, eleven dollars. So, so for one hundred and eighty-one dollars um, out for everything, that'll take care of all of my listening needs that I need to take to need to do. Um, and basically that's it. Um, I hope this video was uh, somewhat informative uh, and kind of threw out a lot of different things there. I thought that the, for me to have the best experience was going to be with um, headphones. So um, uh, you saw all the headphones that I purchased and I ended up returning every single one of them that I could. I ended up keeping one. Um, just because the return process on that one was a pig pain as well. But uh, generally speaking, I don't, I'm not going to be using any headphones. I'm just going to be using the, uh, the Apple AirPods as well as the, uh, the gummy uh, earbuds when I travel. And basically that's it. So um, I hope this was informative. You can check out some of my other videos. I don't normally do electronic um, reviews but I just wanted to give you my take uh, as a non-professional electronic uh, reviewer of my perspective and, the, and uh, the products that I ended up settling down with. I'll see you later. Oh, if you like this video give me a like. That always helps.